Oh, we got a switch. We got a switch. We got a switch. Hey, Barry. Get your way over by that front door, Cammy. Move, move. Make sure you get it. Go, go, Make sure go, you go, get go. it. What's she wearing? She's making a move. She's making a move. Yeah, she's good. White shirt. White shirt. Stop. You gotta get that door right now. Ah, she's gone. Oh. She's gone. Open the door. Look to my left. Look to my right. She vaporized. All right, let's take a second second. Second second. This is a classic switch. She waits until the employee is distracted. Then she switches out the new camera for a fake. In a store like this, you just can't leave goods in the hands of a customer. Did you understand what happened there? She uh, got me distracted. OK. From it helped someone else. How much is this camera valued at? The one that you handed her? 300 $300 switch. That's never, never turn your back. All right, man. Let's make sure you lock that cabinet. From now on, there should be two employees working at that counter. I hate that man. It's clear the employee didn't do his job, but to be fair, we didn't either. Somebody explain this to me, how this little girl got away. Let's not place blame here, yeah? no, okay? No, there's no blame. There's, it's impossible to blame I'm anybody. not blaming you. I'm just saying you got to be a little lighter on your feet. Mm. All right, all right, all right. Listen, listen. Yeah. I'm going to go review the tape, OK? We're going to try to put a plan together here so the doesn't happen again. This is an electronic store, so it's fast. We got to be on our A game, because people like that are going to go tell their friends they're going to come back and do again. And we got to be on our game, OK? See now, Tammy, now everybody thinks they can get a camera from us. Take it easy. Stop arguing. We were told there was possibly employee theft at this store. And after this last incident with the guy at the camera counter, now is a good time to go talk to Albert about his staff. Let me ask you a question. What about your employees? Do you have any issues with any employees in here? Nobody? No. What about the registers? Any shortages? Any losses? Um, well, every once in a while, the registers come up short. Hmm. What's that mean, once in a while? I don't know. Every once in a while. Man, I tell you, Albert talking about registers coming up short, to me, that's a red flag. But he doesn't think there's a problem. How would you feel about a little test on your registers? Have you ever heard of a thing called an integrity check? Uh, no. It'll take a $100 bill. It won't be in the register. It won't be on the counter. It'll be close to that register where it's just enough for the employee to see it. And if he takes it and puts it in his pocket, eh, he failed. OK, there's your internal. Some people think this is just a mean trap. It's not. It's about catching a thief. And that's all I care about. You know, that's how we do it. So all I need to know is, are we good to go with it? I'm not, I'm not really happy about it, I'll be honest with you. But uh, we can try. It's great that he loves his employees. But if one is robbing him blind, I'm going to find out. Coming up. Go get him, go get him. He's going around, he's going around. Uh -oh. oh, there he goes. This guy's got balls. Registers are coming up short at DataVision, a high-end electronics store in New York. Loss prevention agents have come up with a plan to investigate. I had to convince Albert to do the employee sting. So I got him to put a $100 bill next to the register to see if his staff would pocket the cash or put it back in the till. We got the money in play. There it is. Right. An honest employee is going to put that money straight back into the register. Keep your eyes on that $100 yeah. bill and see if it disappears. A dishonest employee will put it straight in his pocket. I mean, we got some good people working here, so. Who's this cat? Uh, he's a manager. He's been with us for 18 years. No reason to uh, think that he's Family guy, you know. The whole night. Here we go. He's taking a look at it. Make me proud, Joe. Make me proud, baby. There's your drawer. All right. Get yourself a good employee there. All right. Thank God. Evidently, it's not working. That's only one round. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Who's this guy? He's an employee. He's a salesman. Watch where there it goes. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing there? OK, there it is. I'm done. I, I, I don't want to see no more. I, I mean, I told you beginning, I didn't think this was going to be the right thing to do. Uh, I feel very uncomfortable with it. I have never ran this and not caught somebody with this. I catch someone every damn time. My record is intact. Who's this guy? Is he shaggy? Nah, this guy's a good guy. That's my brother-in-law. I don't care if it's your mom. Well, if it ain't happening after this one. There it goes. There's my hundred. There goes my hundred. Back under that damn keyboard. 
There's the drawer. There's the drawer closed. There's the deal right there. Okay. There's your guy right here. Wait, 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 what do you mean? This doesn't mean nothing. I ain't doing this no more. Look, you see the guy's an honest guy. The guy's trying to find out who the damn thing belongs to. This is I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. So what are you saying? You're done? I'm done. I told the guy. I told the guy. It's not, my, it's not one of my guys. It cannot be. This is the deal. This is the thing. I'm done. Done with you guys. When the afternoon shift starts, I'm running this test again. Watch the high-end stuff. A lot going on today. Look at this guy. Watch, 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 watch this guy in the red. Watch this guy. He's looking around. Guy in the red. He's working the cord. He's a bald-headed hey, guy. Whoa. Just walked on camera seven. Look how fast he's walking. So I'm watching the guy looking at the tablets when another guy speed walks right by him in a suit. I'm pretty sure he's not here for exercise. Guy with the red still fiddling with those. Oh, 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 oh. How many people do you know come in there and know exactly what they want? So far he hasn't done it. He's just got just... a box. He's just... Yeah, what? but this guy's, oh, this guy's no. running. He's just going in and out like a freaking snake. Runs up, grabs this Blu-ray DVD burner. He's on his wheels, man. He's getting ready to walk out the exit. There he goes. Hey, go get him, go get him, go get him. Go go up that top. Hurry, 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 hurry. This guy's got balls. People. Uh oh. He's going around, he's going around. Oh, excuse me. Go, go, go. Whoa, 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 excuse me. Hey, 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 hey. Nice to meet you, I'm Ty Smith. I'm a loss prevention officer. You have to come back to the store with me real quick. Tyson was in his I don't know how he got there, but he got there. Going in there with this? Yeah, yeah. Well, you walked out with it. Back in the store. Get this. This way, partner. Hey. Right. If this guy makes it a split second faster into the cab, $1,000 was going to go down the street. Have a seat. See you later. Right. Sit your ass down, man. Let's go. What's your name, buddy? My name is John. All right, so what's going on with this, John? I'm in a rush. I got to playing at a JFK. I was gonna put it in the cab, come back in and pay with my, I got my checkbook right here. You think we're gonna take a check from you? I'm on a business trip. I'm going down to visit my girlfriend. I work for an electronics company. I am a freelance writer. I have a plane out of JFK. I got a train to catch. Listen. I gotta get over. This guy is a pathological liar. Okay, here's the truth. I'm with um, loss prevention. And I was trying to catch you guys. Trying to catch you napping. I can't listen anymore, it's BS, man. In the end, this guy went to jail. Stand up for me, Johnny. Stand up. Hey, John, we got you a new cab. Got a little flashing light on top. We got his photo, and he'll never be back in this store again. Coming up. <gasps> Yo! Hey! hey. Oh, you stop hey. resisting. And later. That's not my hey. talking hey. to me. Loss prevention agents suspect that employees may be involved in theft at DataVision, and the accusation doesn't sit well with the manager. This is I'm done. I'm done. In this business, nobody is above suspicion. Someone's gonna take that We know that this integrity check is gonna flush one of these employees out. There's our cashier right there. This guy, though, he's been an employee for a long time. I don't though. care if he's been here since the day the building was built. Guaranteed, a person that's willing to steal a $100 bill is the same person that will rob your store blind. It's begging to be touched. Come on, baby. Hold on, he just took a really good look at it that time. Watch this, oh. watch this, watch this, watch this. It's cup, baby. It in the drawer. No, no, no. It's cup. He reaches for the money. He cups it. What we call cupping. Puts it in the hand, out of sight. Nobody can see it. Put it in the drawer. It's cup, baby. Bring it home to me, baby. Oh. The record stands. Woo! The record is still alive, baby. Holy <laughs> Went right for you. Albert's not going like this. Yeah, I don't really want to talk to Albert, but you know what? There's a lot of action on the floor right now, so I decided to wait till later in the day to talk to him about this situation. You got him, man. All 
All right, keep your eyes open. I'm feeling good now. What's going on with this lady right here? Things started off a little shaky, but ever since we cut that internal thief, I'm fired up now, baby. Look for a guy with his hat on backwards. I'm not getting beat again. We are watching everyone. You see that guy? You got eyes on him? Go ahead, thieves. Make my day. Watch the girl and the guy walk right by you with that baby. Yes, sir. It's pathetic, but people use kids to commit crimes all the time. I've been doing this for 20 years, and I've seen entire family shoplifting. Sisters, aunts, even children stealing merchandise. Sometimes people use baby strollers to conceal items. Then they plop the kids on top of the strollers to hide the stolen goods. Unbelievable. So when I see a woman carrying around a baby pouch or a stroller or a basket, I watch them. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think we just lost a tablet to the baby here. Did we? Yeah, she definitely got something in between the baby and the back part of that, whatever the hell that thing is. Oh, here we go, here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got selection. Concealment, we're good. They're selecting them and they're concealing them instantly. There goes another one. Yeah, they're having a good time now. All right, we're on the move here. Get ready. You got eyes on, Ty? Yeah, I got eyes on it. Tammy? Yeah, I'm good. Tablet's gonna go out the door. Don't spook them. Go! You gotta get that door right now! I'll okay. see. Mom and Pop, they about to get stopped. Get to the door. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm a loss prevention officer with this store. What's going on here with the little baby? So let's just take a second. What about her? Can you keep your voice down? She's sleeping. But wait, 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 what's the problem? I'll talk to you downstairs. Let's go this way. We better hurry this up before the baby craps on the merchandise. Follow me, please. Uh uh. Ma'am. No, I don't okay. know what y'all are Can we leave, sir? No, Can you no, get your we can't, because I don't know where you're trying to okay. take me. Babe, no. it's okay. No. Oh. no. What the f? It's a scam. Come on. Thieves love to use baby pouches and strollers to conceal items. I'm not doing it. Ah, uh, just stop resisting. Another day, another baby's head. It's a bull. Baby, just relax. You're gonna get to go to jail for all the theft you just committed in our store. Whose idea was it? What was the plan? Just resell this stuff? Basically. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think I did anything. Is there any way of getting? Not yeah, going to jail. Did you touch these items and shove them in here? Correct. You're shoplifting. Babe, please. He already what? said we're going. No, you know what? You know what? No. No. What? Hey, let's not involve the baby. Can I please stand over here? This girl, she's nutty in a porta potty at a peanut festival. And I kind of like that. Everything, all of the oh. this guy's fault right here. He even stole that hat. The sunglasses, those are stolen. And do you really think we can afford that watch? I mean, seriously, I really we can't even afford a good friend, You're right? I'm pushing it, relax. This interrogation went from zero to crazy town in 10 seconds. I'm done here. No smiling. More talking coming up. Don't look at me. Empty your pockets now. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me that way, OK? Albert's back, and it's time to tell him what his employee did earlier. Albert. Hey, Rich, how are you, buddy? Not looking forward to it. Before we go any further, promise me, you ain't gonna take it out on me. I won't take it out on you. Watch this. Right hand. Right pocket. He just swiped it. You walk up there right now, it's gonna be in that right pocket of his jeans. This guy's handling your cash. Buddy, come over here. I want to talk to you. Come on. Don't worry about the register. What's this all about? Sit down over here. Relax. Have a seat, Albert. I don't want to sit down. I don't want to sit down. Don't tell me to sit down. Okay. Let me see your pockets. Empty your pockets now. Right here. Don't look at me. Empty your pockets now. Do it. Where'd you get this $100 bill from? Carrying it. Really? Yeah. So you're going to steal from me? And you're gonna lie over top of the yeah, stealing? That was mine. How could it be yours if we planted it and you took the bait like a thief that you are? You're stealing from me 
You're stealing from my kids and everybody else, the other hundred people that work here. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> talk to me that way. If me and Richie wasn't down there, I don't think we'd have seen this employee ever again. I mean, this guy would have been, he would have been sleeping with the fishies. Okay, I'm telling you now. We gotta stay professional, man. We gotta separate this madness. One, you're a thief. And two, nah, thief. wait a second, a that's only half of it. The other half is, now you're out of a job. Because I make you an example to everybody that works in my company. Absolutely. They don't steal from me, so it's bull I don't wanna hear nothing else you gotta say. You're fired, you're done. Albert said, you're fired. He's like a mini Donald Trump, just without as much money and without as good looking hair. It's done. It's done. Turns out, as soon as this employee was fired, the registers stopped coming up short. Looks like this guy was stealing from Albert all along, and we flushed him out. Albert. So we took care of Albert's main problem. We caught the rat who was stealing from him. Unfortunately, uh, you were right, I was wrong. Somebody on the inside is like a cancer and we don't want that. Yes. He obviously cares about his store and his employees. Appreciate everything. Thank you. If you guys ever need anything from us, let us know. Believe me, shoplifters, they'll get the message. Don't come back to Day Division. Uh, thanks, man.